Welcome back for another book talk. My name is Ms. Nicole and I am a youth services librarian with the Grundy Library. Today I have some picture books with me that I want to share with you that are all about mindfulness. Even our little ones have some stress and anxiety and sometimes it's just good to take a second to take a breath and sit down and really focus on our mindfulness and our intentions. Since this is starting a busier time of the year, I thought I'd share with you some fun stories all about mindfulness and feelings and um, learning to slow down and take a break. So the first one I'm gonna share with you is a new book in our collection, which is kind of what prompted this book talk. The first book I wanna share with you is called Sit With Me, Meditation for Kids in Seven Easy Steps. And this is by Carolyn Kenjuro. And this is a brand new book to our collection. This book takes you through the ways to properly sit um, for when you want to take time to meditate and then goes through the meditation process. What I love about this story is that it has very simple illustrations, but also engaging illustrations. It uses animals and children to kind of illustrate how to sit properly for meditation and the steps you need to take in order to meditate. I hope you enjoy taking a peek inside Sit With Me, Meditation for Kids in Seven Easy Steps, and I hope you get a chance to check it out at the library. The next book I want to share with you is called I Am Peace, and this is a book of mindfulness by Susan Verde and illustrated by Peter Reynolds. Uh, so you might recognize his illustrations. He does a lot of popular picture books with the watercolor. And this is just a really beautiful story all about being mindful and it has really bright, vibrant colors, um, rainbow colors throughout the whole book. The next picture book I wanna share with you is a lot of fun because it uses characters that kids are really familiar with and that is superheroes. This picture book is called Even Superheroes Have Bad Days and it is written by Shelley Becker. And this is all about superheroes. It talks about what superheroes can do on the daily, but it also talks about when superheroes might have a bad day where they're angry or they're tired and how they deal with their feelings. And it shows them at the very end that it's okay for you to have these different feelings. It's okay for you to be tired and take a break from being a superhero. So I thought it was a really engaging story because kids love to read about superheroes and fun and adventure, but it shows that even these otherworldly characters who seem like they're always on their ball also need to take a break and take a time to rest and recoup and rejuvenate. So I thought this was a really great one to share and um, I hope you really enjoyed getting a peek inside it. The next book that I wanna share with you is one of my all-time favorite books to read, especially if I'm reading it to um, put kids into a mindfulness mindset um, if we're doing a yoga story time or just uh, more of a calmer story time because the whole story itself is kind of a meditation in and of itself. And this is called uh, Hands to Heart, Breathe and Bend with Animal Friends. So like I said, this is a great story to kind of bring forth some mindfulness, but it also includes some yoga poses. So it's a great addition if you want to add some yoga into your little one's routine. Um, or just get them moving and uh, while they're taking a break in just a bit of a, a calmer um, time, like a calmer movement. And it has a lot of fun illustrations. Again, it uses animals, so it's very accessible for little ones. It's colorful, it's simple, and it really engages the your reader with um, the words on the page and all the movement actions that it gives you um, for the story. So I really hope you get a chance to check this one out of the library. Like I said, it's one of my favorite ones to read during yoga story time and just when I'm trying to do a more mindful, relaxed story time. But it also still has that element of movement for our little ones who have all that energy and still want to be engaged in a movement, moving kind of a way. My last story that I'm going to share with you is another yoga picture book. It's another one I like to use in my yoga story times. It's called Zuzen. And this is a yoga story for kids. It's by Kristen Fisher. And it's about a little girl who has some animals in her room that inspire her to do some yoga. So she rolls out her mat and she gets ready and she starts doing yoga poses based off of the stuffed animals she has in her room as if she was going to the zoo and visiting all these animals and trying to emulate how they move and how they rest. And so it's a lot of fun. Again, there's animals, very engaging and accessible for kids. 
and it's also very colorful like a lot of the picture books that I've shared with you today. Uh, so I feel like this is another great one to bring some mindfulness into your little one's day, but it also allows for that movement since our little ones are very rambunctious and want to get some energy out. But this does it in a more slowed, concentrated way that kind of helps bring their energy levels down while they're still being active and moving and breathing and just taking a, a slower pace to their day or to their time. So I really hope you get a chance to see this one and check it out. Again, it's another favorite of mine for yoga story times, and it's a great one to start introducing some mindfulness and some slowness into your little one's day. Thank you so much for coming to my book talk today. I hope you enjoyed learning about all of these mindfulness related picture books. I hope you get a chance to check them out in the library and that you it inspires you to encourage your little ones to introduce some yoga and some mindfulness into your day, especially if you're feeling overstressed or if they're feeling anxious or they just have so much energy and they don't know what to do with it. This kind of introduces them ways to kind of slow down and take a breath and move with intention and with some concentration involved. Uh, for more books, uh, recommendations, and any other programs that we have here at the library, please visit our website at www.grundylibrary.org or check out our social media pages. Thank you so much for joining me for today's book talk and I can't wait to see you for our next one. Goodbye.